the arrangements that may have that may have led President Doe to the Freeport. You see that this arrangement was done through an intermediary, Mr. Selif Dix Thompson. What was the relationship between you and Mr. Thompson? Nothing. It was not anything to me. It was Sam Doe's spokesman. And, and even going to the port, if I had known, I would advise against it. Because you and I had signed a truce in which we agreed to attack ECOMO. So what are you going to do to the base? But did you have any further subsequent dealings with uh, Mr. Thompson? Uh, Thompson I don't know. That? He told me, he sent Thompson to let me know he was coming to see me and to visit Ekoman Base and Thompson never came. Because Thompson presumably had already arranged his own exit from a river to Ekoman. But in November 1990, I was at your base. You can recall that. Yeah, well, I was coming there. <laughs> Mr. Zilu. About 7.30 seven, about seven in the evening, going to 8 o'clock, our vehicle drove, as I was leaving your base, Mr. Tom Kamara and myself, our vehicle drove on to your base, and the door opened, and out came Mr. Salif Dix Thompson in a, in, a, in, a, in, a, in a gown, dressed in a long flowing robe, along with General Doganyaro, dressed in a long flowing robe. What was the purpose of that meeting? What was discussed? He came with Doganyaro, I don't know. John Gallardo was probably coming to see me and he managed to bring Sally Thompson. Like I told you, Sally Thompson had already arranged with Echo Mode to take him away. And that, that commander that was to take him was John Gallardo. It was John Gallardo, in fact, who took Sally Thompson to Nigeria. 